Welcome back, fuckers. It has been a hot minute since I have done any videos on uh, on YouTube. And yeah, life has been busy. So apologies for that. It's been a good, good couple of months, I reckon, since we've done it. So uh, we're going to get back into it. And we're going to go through the J Hammocks alignment. So we're going to go straight into it. And while I'm starting up, I figured I'd uh, give you the, the, the catch up if for those of you that give a fuck uh, what's been going on. Um, yeah, and just talk to you guys while we're starting up. So let's crack on. So I'm not going to run through what the fuck I'm doing on all this. This is just my uh, standard startup procedure. See if I can remember. It's been a long time since I have uh, played DCS since before. Uh, right as the Marianas map dropped. That's the last time I played DCS properly. So let's see if I remember how to do this stuff. Um, if you do want to know how to start up the jet from cold, I do have a video in this playlist on how to do a cold start where I explain everything that I'm doing. But um, yeah, we're just going to quickly smash through all this so that we uh, can get on in to doing the Johamics alignment, which is what we're going to do. So yeah, it's been, uh, it's been a while. Life has been busy and just... Where's that canopy down so it's not so fucking loud? Life has been busy. I've been uh, working, working, and just living, really. So the, uh, the DCS controls. has taken a bit of a backseat. Well, the computer's taken a bit of a backseat, to be fair, if, I, if I'll be honest. Um, but yeah, hopefully we get back into it now. Settle into a little bit more of a routine. And get some more videos cranking out. So we're almost started up. Um, we want stored heading alignment there. Alright. Righto. That's doing its thing. So while we're doing all this, let's quickly just get that bit check going. Turn that on. Alright. So we are all started. Everything is doing its thing. We're just waiting on our INS alignment. Um, so we'll do it all properly. We'll wait for the INS to have completely finished. Let's turn down That's a bit bright there Bit checks done That on that, put that on that Wait for that to happen We've got 40 seconds to go for our INS alignment Then on field All right And that is pretty much us all still all started. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. Like I said, it has been a, a little bit. Still remember the buttons? Yeah! There we go. Um, so yeah, apologies for the uh, the lack of content, but just last been, uh, last been getting in the way. And just been enjoying, enjoying having a bit of a break. I was, uh, I didn't think I was that burnt out from DCS, but I clearly was because, yeah, having a, having a bit of a break definitely did me some good because I didn't really miss playing DCS for the time that I've uh, haven't been playing it, uh, but I feel good now. Feel good. Well, I felt good before, but just having a break from DCS was always, you know, is a nice thing to do. And that's enough rambling from me. Righto. So let's do this. So we are going to align the J hammocks because I uh, I jumped on and had a bit of a fly around uh, the other day, and I was doing some some bombing and I was practicing. Uh, some laser guided bombing with the targeting pod with the new app flare pod and i was using my j hammocks to designate targets on the ground because i saw like a sam launch and i was like oh yeah cool there's a i don't know what it was like a S sa8 or something sa9 something that i could get above and i could drop a uh, laser guided bomb on and i found it i saw the launch the smoke so i like looked at the spot on the ground designated it with my targeting uh, with my Jahamix and then I went to slew my targeting pod my targeting pod was nowhere near the spot on the ground I was like what the fuck what is happening here what my shit's broken and there's an alignment process now as you guys I'm sure are all well aware but for those who are still learning the Hornet uh, this is the thing that you have to do now so we're going to go around through how to do that now nice and simple so first things first you need to turn on the Jahamix so how can you tell the Jahamix is turned on well when you turn it on you can see a thing shows up where you look all right so we're going to turn on here. So this is it right there. HMD. Left click it. Drag it up. Okay. Turns it on. And there you go. That's how you can tell you Joe Hammocks is on. Because when you look around, it'll put that thing wherever you look. All right. That's how you can confirm Joe Hammocks is on. So you need to turn that on before you do that test. Now, 
any of these displays you can do the test from. You are going to press the bottom middle button, all right, to cycle between the support page and the tech page, and it works on any of those displays. Okay, we're going to just use the right one. Support page, and we're going to go. So you want, once you're on support, you're going to click on the bit button up the top left, uh, top middle. Hit that, and we can see here we have got displays not ready. We can click on that, and we've got HMD P bit go. So we need to make sure we do that and make sure it's good. Get in the habit of doing this. So you're going to come over here and you're going to press HMD right there. And it's going to start flashing in test and it's doing its thing. Okay, it's just going to cycle through all of these, uh, the symbologies here until you make it stop. So when we see the grid one more time, all right, you're, you're supposed to just let it go once through, but it doesn't hurt. There's another grid. So you're going to come down here and you're going to press stop. All right, done. So now we'll say HMD go. Done. Happy. So that is part one of the HMD alignment and test complete. Now you're going to hit the menu support page again. You can hang them over and you're going to go to HMD. Click on that again. And now we're going to go through the alignment procedure of the J Hemix or helmet mounted display. Buttons you need. Adjust control. So you need to have your cage slash uncage button. Default is C for Charlie on the keyboard or whatever you've assigned it to on your HOTAS. And you also need your, uh, where are we? There we go. Throttle designated control down, left, right, up. You need those bound to something on your HOTAS or your keyboard if you don't have a HOTAS. All right. If you don't have a HOTAS, get a, get a HOTAS. It'll make your life so much easier. But if you've got the uh, Thrustmaster Warthog HOTAS like I have on the right-hand throttle, the, uh, the little mouse, uh, mouse button thing, mouse wheelie looking thing, the clitoris button, you know what I'm talking about boys. All right, I use that. Okay, so you just need to be able to move your, your TDC, your throttle designated controller. So when you hear people say TDC, that's what it stands for, throttle designated controller. So you need those two things, that's it. Right, so JHamix is on, we've done the test, now we're gonna come over and we're gonna go to align. Hit the align button, brings up this display. We're gonna align this cross up with that cross on the, on the HUD, okay? Doesn't have to be perfect. So we're going to do it on the piss slightly just because we're going to go into fine alignment. So if for whatever reason you can't get it spot on, doesn't matter because we're going to fine tune it. So I'm going to press and hold cage on cage. It's going to press, say aligning, align fail. Too far away. Get a bit closer. Aligning. There we go. Line okay. Right, next one. We need to align this top cross with the crosshair in the center. So you can see now as I move my TDC, Throttle detonator controller left down upright. I'm going to move it so that it is in the center. All right, so pretty happy with that. What the fuck is going on over there? AI doing AI things. Right, whatever. Okay. Pretty happy with that. So you're going to press cage, uncage again. the hell come on probably because i looked away let's do it again all right get it close press and hold i think because i looked away at the jet okay get him in the middle there so once you're happy with that you're going to press cage on cage it's going to switch to roll now our roll moves the crosshair left and right like that so again make sure it's right in the middle and you press cage on cage again and that's it just confirm happy with both once you're happy with both you just come down and you press align. Boom. Done. JHemix is now aligned. And when you designate something on the ground, your targeting pod will slew to the spot on the ground. Or if you find a spot with your if you find something on the ground with your targeting pod and you want to see where it is on the JHemix, you can look and the little diamond on the ground will actually be where the targeting pod is looking instead of being on the piss like I found before. So very, very, very important that you do that if you're going to be doing uh, precision guided bombing with uh, laser guided bombs or uh, JDAMs and all the rest. Okay, you wanna have um, all your shit aligned. Make your life as easy as possible. But that's it guys, pretty straightforward. Nothing too crazy, it takes like fucking, without all the rambling, 20 seconds, 20 seconds max. But anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you uh, hit the like button, drop a comment, say good day, mate, where the fuck you been? Um, give me some shit. You're dead to me because you don't make videos anymore. Um, 
But yeah, so apologies on that one that I haven't made any videos, but I've been living life, enjoying life. It's good. You, should, you guys should try it. Get amongst it. In the crazy world and time that we live in, a little bit of uh, living your life is never goes astray. So yeah, thanks guys for uh, all the subscribers that have subscribed. Even though I haven't made a video, we're still cruising. Like I'm still getting like, you know, it's crazy. People are still subbing to the channel, which is awesome without any content. So uh, thank you to everyone that has subbed since I uh, haven't made any videos. If you've subbed since my last video has come out, uh, welcome to the channel. And yeah, thanks for being a good bunch of cunts. Oops, shouldn't have said that, should I? Uh, can't help it um, but yeah that's why you watch it right because I swear and I'm Australian that's, that's just how we roll anyways thanks these guys uh, in relation to the Twitch Twitch side of things I haven't streamed on Twitch either for quite some time probably won't be streaming on Twitch or well, I definitely won't be streaming on Twitch as often at the moment uh, it's going to be very sporadic but I'm going to try and make YouTube a little bit more uh, a little bit more uh more of a routine because I can do YouTube kind of at my leisure when I get a bit of spare time, whereas Twitch I have to, well, I like to try and stream at the same time every time. So then it kind of gets into like a bit of a routine for everyone. They know when I'm coming on instead of like me just streaming at random times periodically whenever. Um, I'd rather be in a, a bit of a set routine on that one. But yeah, thanks heaps, guys. Uh, I know I said that a thousand times, but appreciate you all. And I will catch you fuckers on the next one. Peace.